You can also rerun your workflows directly from this logging section as well. So if we take this bottom section where we hit an error within our workflow, we're able to see that the Salesforce step is red, which means that we hit a problem with that particular connector. I can delve into that and get an indication of what the error was that was coming into that, and then click on expand to get that full error message. You'll notice that in this case, it's asking me to specify at least one field to return, such as the ID. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Salesforce, and I'm gonna add some fields that I want to return for this particular integration to function. In this case, I'm gonna pick the name, as well as the created date. Once I'm happy with those changes, what I'm able to do on trays, I'm able to rerun my workflow. I can either rerun the entire workflow, or what I can also do is I can rerun the individual steps as well, so that if I've fixed that particular issue at that step, I can just rerun that step individually using the data from previously. I can then click on that little arrow and Trey will go ahead and rerun that workflow for me so that I can rerun that step now that I've made those changes. At the bottom section, you'll notice that the live arrow is pulsating and you're starting to see that we're now getting the remainder of the additional logs coming through from that rerun step, which was me making those changes and successfully fixing the issue that was causing that problem initially. You'll also notice that as I go back into the logging section, that is now green, which is showing me that this was a successful run. And that Salesforce step that was previously red has now been resolved and is green, telling me that it was a successful run.